Well, today I'm starting a new project, which will take me a couple weeks to complete, I think. I'm going to try and build a low-cost ventilator using plans online from different websites. And I had a bunch of parts come in today, so I'm going to show you what I've got on hand and some of the parts that I've started fabricating. So let's uh, take a look. I, I don't know medical device terminology, but I'll do my best. So this is the breather bag, and I've started fabricating these hands, which will squeeze the bag. I built these on my Shapoko CNC machine. Machining just the teeth took about an hour per arm. I used a 16th inch end mill for the teeth, and then I went back with a quarter inch end mill to cut the rest of the arm out and drill the holes. I modified the original design of the arms by putting a flat spot here at the top and bottom. And if needed, I can cut a slot here so that the arm gets pinched onto the shaft rather than rotating on the shaft. So I can add a pinch bolt and a nut on the other side. And this is so if I want to go direct drive to rotate the arms instead of using the gear teeth to move the arms, I'll have that option. I also went with a larger diameter shaft because I'm using plastic instead of aluminum. I wanted to spread that force over a larger area. Um, so there'll be more fingers to spread the contact area over a larger area on the bag. So the bag will just fit in here and the hand will squeeze the bag as a human hand would do. Here's kind of a close-up of the machine quality from my hobby CNC machine. It looks quite good, I think. This is just a 24 volt power supply to power the PLC. This is my PLC. It has four analog inputs, four digital inputs, and four relay outputs. And admittedly, relay outputs aren't ideal for this application because they'll be cycled a lot. I can add on a, a module to the side to increase I.O. And, and get some solid state outputs. I really love these Siemens logo PLCs. This is the same PLC I used on my Volkswagen Touareg to control the air suspension that I added. It's really nice that it has a six line LCD. You can display a lot of information. You can display lots of screens. You can change any of the variables and timer set points inside the PLC. Pretty much any variable or constant you can change. You can also change the backlight color. So if you have a warning pop up, you can have it turn orange. Or if you have an alarm come up, you can have it turn red or flash different colors. They're really handy, quick to program. They have SD card slots and Ethernet built in. This is a signal conditioner. It kind of acts like a load cell amplifier, so you can adjust span and zero of the output, and it's basically converting zero to 24 millivolts into a four to 20 milliamp signal that the PLC can read. And that will be connected to this pressure transducer. This pressure transducer measures up to 1.5 PSI, which is about the max that a human can breathe out. And this will be used to to measure the patient inhaling, and that will be a trigger to start the next cycle of breathing from the from the bag. And this is just some hose to hook up to the uh, breathing mask to measure pressure. I don't have my LVDT or Hall Effect position sensor yet, but this is the wire harness for it. I'm using Land Rover ride height sensors um, because they're cheap. They're like $15, they're ruggedized, they're submersible rated, and they're rated for like continuous movement. And it's not like a wiper pot where the, the potentiometer will wear. This is a, a Hall effect sensor, so there's uh, no wear involved. I have these uh, two relays that I'm gonna use for driving this motor forwards and backwards. If those don't work, I have some uh, larger contactors as well, but 
The motor is only 55 watts, so I think this little 16 amp relay should be more than sufficient. This is my gear motor. It's rated to output 12 RPM, which means that it'll take five seconds to do one revolution. So I'm not quite sure if I'll need more gear reduction or not to slow the hand down. I, I want the hand to close in about one second. Depending on what size gear I make, I can change the speed of the hand. Ideally, this would be a DC motor and I could just pulse width modulate the, the RPM. Uh, so I, I may change the motor out for something more variable speed and ideally direct drive, but this was in stock and it's something to get me going. And these are uh, just a bunch of terminal blocks for connecting wires. So there you have it. This is all the parts I have on hand currently. I have a peep valve coming and an extension hose for the, for the airbag. I also have a good stock of nuts and bolts. And this is the CNC router that I'm using. It's a Shapeoko 3. And I also have plenty of stock of scrap plastic from Tap Plastics. Well, there you have it. I don't know if this project's actually gonna come to fruition or not, but I have pretty much all the parts on hand and excited to start putting it together. Hopefully it works out and uh, feel free to leave me some questions, comments, and suggestions in the comment section below. Thank you.